Herzlich willkommen. Welcome. My name is Sabina Elbaker. This practical tip is about regulating the supply and exhaust air in top loader kilns. What can you do to make the heating phase easier and speed up the cooling phase? What do you need to remember when biscuit firing? And what tips are there for glaze firing? Let's start with the supply air. All rotor top loader kilns have an air supply slide. If the handle is to the left, the supply of fresh air is interrupted. To the right, it is open. The air supply slide helps us to influence the circulating air in the kiln during the firing. For biscuit firing, it's advantageous to have the slide open up to six or 700 degrees so that sufficient fresh air can get into the kiln. This ensures that moisture and combusted substances are removed from the clay and glazers. If we close the supply air at 600 to 700 degrees, we help the kiln to reach its target temperature more easily. More importantly, this protects the heating elements and contributes to their longer service life. If the kiln is in the cooling phase and you want to speed it up, you can open the air supply slide. This can affect the color development of the glazers, which is why we recommend carrying out experiments and writing down the results for comparison. And now to the exhaust air. You'll find two ceiling plugs made of lightweight fire brick in the accessory box on your kiln. These close the ceramic exhaust pipe. To do this, simply push the plug flush into the exhaust pipe. Like closing the air supply slide, closing the ceramic exhaust air socket helps the kiln to reach the target temperature. However, when biscuit firing, you should wait until the kiln has already reached a temperature of 600 to 700 degrees before closing the slide. The stopper can be removed after the soak time and the kiln has cooled down. Of course, you'll definitely need a glove for this. The same applies here. Faster cooling can affect the glaze color. We recommend carrying out experiments and writing down the results. In the case of on-glaze and gold overglaze firings, we recommend that the air supply slide and the exhaust air be left open so that there's an adequate supply of fresh air. The solvents in these materials should be able to escape to protect your kiln and achieve better results. That was our practical tip. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your ceramic results.